Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic filter in the Power Query Editor without adding any value. Therefore, let's get started. In our sample data set, I've got two queries, data and my columns. Now, in the data, I've got several columns such as the date, year, month, product, payment type, units, price, and the sales of our columns. And then in the my columns query, I've got three unique column names, product, payment type, and units. So basically, I want to filter this data and then return all the three columns in the my columns. So let's say we can do this in the Power Query Editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is to convert this my list of columns into a list. So I'm going to right click and choose drill down. So this is going to convert it to a list. So I'm going to come back to the data query and click on the view tab and come to the advanced editor. Now basically I'm going to select this part of the code and press delete. And then we have the source equal to excel.com workbook. And then of course we must have this comma at the end to terminate that statement of code. Press enter. Now I can call a video. I'm going to call it filter 2015 equals to table.select rows function. Now the table.select rows is the same thing as the filter function in the Excel worksheet. I'm going to press enter in the code inventory and the fourth argument we need to put that table that I want to select the row. And then we can specify the conditions that the same thing as the include argument in the filter function next up. So for the table, I want to choose the intermediate step at the top, the source at the top, I'm going to put in comma and press enter. Then for each of the rows in the year column, and of course the system column, so I'm going to use the each keyword and I can specify the column name. To do that, I'm going to use a square bracket that can type in the year function or the year column. And I want to check that this is equal to 2015, and I can use the and to specify another condition the same thing with aesthetic time in excel so press enter and then for the second condition we want to see the sales greater than or equal to 50,000. and then i can go on and backspace and call it in i can pass in the start key filter 2015 that will be fine at the top here and let's click done for now amazing for the 2015 i can scroll to the right you can see the sales amount are greater than or equal to 50,000. We are done now. We'll just filter to see only three columns products, payment type, and units. So I'm going to come back here and modify the code in the view tab. Click on the advanced editor. Now I can go on and press enter, enter, and I can use the table.select columns function and then open bracket and press delete. So this also requires a table to select the columns from and then you can specify the Numbers, names of the columns. So this is going to be the input value for the table or the table. And then I'm going to put in a comma here and press enter. And ne next we can specify the column names. And I can choose to use the curly bracket and then insert double quotes. I can call, let's see, I'm going to see here column only. And this is going to be at coding the column names. So when I click, or let me just close the bracket for the table that select columns and I click okay of course it's going to work returning the year column but this is not dynamic because we want to make sure that when we go back to excel we're able to add a new column into this my column list and then refresh and see the changes dynamically but what i'm going to do is to come back to the advanced editor and then i'm going to get rid of this according of this value so i can easily call this list the my column so that's containing all the list of columns i want to in return so just call my columns and that's all we need to do close the bracket for the table select columns and everything is sharp click done amazing so we have the products payment type and the unit so i can select three of them then come to the transform tab and detect the data types amazing works fine so i can come to the home tab close and uh, load tool so i want to just create a connection so only create a connection in the import data wizard and then click ok amazing so connection created i can right click on the table and choose load tool and then we can load to the table and then let's choose a new worksheet and then click ok amazing let's call this results okay and then press enter lovely now i can come back to the list of columns i can type in a new column name let's call this on sales amount and press enter and uh, because this data is in an excel table it's going to automatically expand that's one of the functionality in excel tables i can come back to the result worksheet now for now we have the product payment and, and the unit so i can right click and this is the moment of truth refresh 
amazing. So we have the sales amount column. And I can come here and let's say I want to see the year column. Press enter. I can come back here, right click, and choose refresh. Love it. So we have the year. So that's basically how we can filter and return dynamic columns in the Power Query Editor. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like this video, share with your friends, and comment. Thank you for watching.